director of children's ministry for Arbor Point Church and program director for our preschool ministry, Grow to Be You Day School. And today I have two special guests with us, Noah and Rhett. Can you tell everybody hey? Hey. Can you tell everybody hey? Hey. <laughs> All right, so sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never harm me. Is that true? Yeah. No. I think we can all agree, except for Red over here, that that just isn't so. Words can hurt, words can damage, and words can leave a scar. It's okay, come here. Solomon, the wisest man that has ever lived, attests to exactly this when he writes in Proverbs 15, 4, kind words bring life, but cruel words can crush your spirit. And we're going to demonstrate just how important words are with a tube of toothpaste. So, Rhett, can you squeeze out all the toothpaste mm -hmm. into this plate for me, please? Mm -hmm. Use all your muscles. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of toothpaste. Let's squeeze it all out. Can you squeeze it even more? Oh my goodness. You got it all out? Yep, I think you did. Just for that last little bit. There. All right. Now, we're going to ask Noah to put it all back in. In here, you can even use this butter knife to make it easier for you. Okay. Do you think he can put it all back in there? Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we know the saying, what comes up must come down. But in this case, what comes out does not go back in. Our words are very much like this toothpaste. So now, ah! <laughs> now um, I want us all on the count of three, you two at home, to say the word anger. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Anger. 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 <laughs> all right, now I want you to take those words back. Can you take the word anger back? Yeah. Can you take the word anger back? No. Mm -mm. No, trying to put the tube of toothpaste, the toothpaste back into the tube is difficult, but taking our words back is impossible. Ephesians 4.29 says, Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good for edification according to the need of the moment so that it will give grace to those who hear. Paul talks about unwholesome words. What types of words might these be? What do you think? What are some unwholesome words you think he's talking about? Like when you say something mean to people. Saying mean words, curse words. What are some not nice words? Um, shut up. Saying shut up to people. Insults, words that are making fun of others. But then Paul talks about words that are good for edification and give grace. Now, that's a big word. Can you say it with me? Edification. Edification. Good job. <laughs> words like edification, give grace. They're words that build up and encourage. Words that give grace to the hearer are words that may not be deserved, but are said in kindness in spite of of not being deserved. Yeah, yeah. So let's change yeah, yeah. some unwholesome words to words that build up and give grace. So say for example, Rhett goes into Noah's room over here and Noah yells at him, get out dummy. Is that nice? No. No. Instead, a nicer way to say it would be, I'm busy right now. Could you come back later and maybe we can play then? What about you really want to go to your friend's house and your mom or dad says no and you yell at them, I don't care what you say, I hate you. <laughs> Is that nice? No. No. 
So a nice way of saying that is, I really want to go, but you're my parents, and I understand that you know it's best, and I trust you. What about someone on your team really messes up your game, and you want to yell, way to mess it up? We, can't you do better than that? A nicer thing would be to say, it's okay, we all make mistakes, and we know you tried your best. Words can hurt, or words can heal. Words can leave scars or they can be soothing medicine. Proverbs 11, 9 says, With their words, the godless destroy their friends, but knowledge will rescue the righteous. And then in Proverbs 15, 1, it says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. It's important that we think before we speak, because the, once the words are out, they can't come back in. We can ask God to help us, just like David does in Psalm 141.3. Take control of what I say, O Lord, and guard my lips. Our words can be stones that hurt or gifts that build others up. Because once they're out of our mouth, they cannot be taken back. So next time when you're brushing your teeth, I want you to remember how important your words are. Your words matter because once they're out, they're out. Use them to lift people up. Let's pray. You ready to pray? Mm -hmm. All right. You ready to pray? Yeah. All right. God, we thank you so much for the power of words. May we use them for edification and grace to lift others up. In your name we pray. Amen. Do you want to tell everybody bye? Bye, the toy review. It's not a toy <laughs> review. It's a children's moment. Say bye. Thanks for watching our children's moment. Mom. <laughs> okay, you just say it your own way. Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> Tell them to like and subscribe to Grow to Be You. No? Can you tell them to like and subscribe to Grow to Be You? No. Like and subscribe, Grow to Be You Day School, and also like and subscribe Arbor Point Church's channel as well for live streaming on Sunday services and all of our past children's moments. You tell everybody bye?